Biz. I'm Justin. And this is a Busy Crow Show. And busy we're gonna, Crow Show. We're about to make some vegan uh, cheddar jalapeno biscuits. Um, I love a good biscuit, mm -hmm. but uh, biscuit sandwich, anything, I'm all over it. Um, you can make them vegan. And here's how we're gonna do it is because we are gonna add lemon juice to plant-based mm -hmm. milk. Yeah, so, tell so us, tell this us about is the Ripple. brand that I really like. Um, used it for a while now. It's Ripple, and it's made with pea protein. Okay. So it's like their own special thing, um, but it's made out of processed peas. So it is a complete protein. It's a lot of protein, and in like all of the ways, it's comparable to dairy milk. Okay. So it has the vitamin D. It has DHA. Which what is that? I forget what you told me. Oh, it's good I for forgot. brain development. Oh, see, so I need that. Kids, yeah, because <laughs> I don't have any brain development. Right who now. are like lactose intolerant? Okay. Like both my kids are like lactose Under. sensitive. Okay. Um, so I started using this with them to be able to give them some of those other like the omegas, the you know vitamin D, everything, and like all those other like almond milk, cashew milk, some of those. It just I didn't really like them for drinking myself. Well, they, and they all sometimes have that sweet note to them. Yeah. And this one doesn't. Yeah, this one it doesn't. It just tastes like, like milk mm -hmm. to me. I yeah. drink milk, he doesn't, but. Well, but yeah, so I, I like them. I've been using them for a while. Um, and that's all my daughter knows is yeah. Ripple, so. Fantastic. And also so it's you, on them. Yeah, exactly. So, so if she goes on to do great things, good job, Ripple. Yeah. If she doesn't. Yeah, we're gonna fault. be back. Your fault. <laughs> But uh, normally I use buttermilk when I make my biscuits, but obviously I can't do that for to make it vegan. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna add um, a tablespoon of lemon juice to the plant-based milk. We're gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and we'll get the rest of this stuff done. This is also um, Earth Balance Vegan Butter. Looks mm -hmm. like butter and everything. Yeah, I think it even tastes, I mean, from what I remember. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would've been that great if you would've funny. just been like, yeah, it tastes like butter. So maybe I'll have you start shredding that into okay. here. Yeah. Um, we also have a tablespoon of baking powder that's gonna give a little lift to our biscuits. We also have a half a teaspoon of salt, and then we also have a um, teaspoon of baking soda. Mm -hmm. And this is what I always do when I make biscuits, just because it's gonna get around the flour that much easier. Mm -hmm. and, and all you need is a fork and a bowl. That's yeah. about it. And I use, for this, I have the microplane. Oh, shredder. nice. So instead of the box, I have a box one too. But the box one I found never, it's not sharp enough. Yeah. Whereas the microplane, yeah, I mean, it's like, sharp. I've, yeah. I've Look at these ribbons of butter. It's or, of those. or vegan butter, whatever vegan butter. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So I just take a fork and kind of get in, uh, incorporate the butter into the flour. Mm -hmm. And can we, can we also use the microplane oh, for yeah, that yeah. too? Yep. So we're doing the uh, uh, spicy, because I like it spicy. He mm -hmm. can handle the heat too. Yep, I love it. Um, and I like shredding the uh, jalapenos like that, because then you just get the mm -hmm. flavor of it. You're not like biting into a chunk of yeah. um, jalapeno. How um, much um, uh, like a Like half of that. Oh, okay. And I left the seeds in. If you don't like it spicy, just cut it in half, take the seeds out, and mm -hmm. just scrape the, the outside of the jalapeno, because the seeds is where all the heat is at, yep. the capsaicin. And then we're also gonna be using this um, BioLife 100% vegan cheese. Uh, I just took a bite of it and it looks like cheese and it's the most cheesiest vegan cheese I've had. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cause it does have that cheddar-y yeah. flavor. So we're gonna add a cup of that to All here right. as well. And of course I got a quarter cup measure because I'm a professional <laughs> like that. Even though it's got, they're like right there. That's yeah, on the exact stick. same spot. Yeah. And when I did everything in, and I could have used this bigger bowl. Let's see if we can make it fit. No, that's why I like, I went down to my basement. I know. I got that. Gosh, darn it. You were, you were busy up here. I know. Throwing, throwing my other bowls on the floor. Yeah. I just dropped one of his, his. She was like, bowls. you know what? I don't want to wash this. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm done. Do like the Viking yeah. way. Uh -huh. of I'm just gonna throw it. And then make him clean it up. So that's how we roll. <laughs> that's fine, I break so many of those things. So we've They're got slippery. a 400 degree oven going. Um, these are gonna take probably about 12 to 15 minutes. And I, I make drop biscuits because it's easier. You don't need to roll it out. And I find that if I keep rolling out the dough over and over again, um, the second, third round is never mm -hmm. as pretty as the first anyway, so... Yeah. Um, and this is less messy too. Less messy. And, to, and if you have like limited counter space. Yep. 
or like not a good work area for yeah. it. Yeah, or if you don't even have a biscuit cutter, you know, then you don't have to worry about yeah. it. So, fork in a bowl, that's all you need to cook. Yeah. That should be our tagline. Fork, fork in a bowl. Fork in a bowl. Fork in a bowl. <laughs> fork in a bowl. <laughs> That almost sounds like forgettable. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to be that. We don't want to be forgettable. So I'm just kind of making sure all the butter is incorporated in here. Mm -hmm. And then add, so I don't know, you, you probably can't see it, but this has gotten a lot thicker mm -hmm. since I added the lemon juice and we don't worry about that. That's supposed to be. That's that, like buttermilk is clumpy. Yes. That's why you always like shake it or mix it first. Exactly. And this is gonna come together in no time at all. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, these are gonna be good. I don't think I've ever had a cheddar jalapeno drop biscuit. What? Yeah, I know. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever family vacations, um, I'm like the breakfast biscuit maker, so I will get up at like six o'clock in the morning and make them. And they're usually gone all the time. And at this point, I might just use my hands. Let me just wash them really quick. Cause that's what the professionals do. Yeah. I like the, like, the last time we did videos, like, I did a lot of, like, the cooking and talking, and this time it's just, like, I get to stand here. And yeah. Like this. I'm taking over his kitchen, because he kind of took over bad. last time, though. No. Oh, it's fine. Bad. This is great. So, I just get my hands in there. Okay. And that's a great thing about a glass bowl, too, is that you can, I mean, obviously you can see it, but you can always look to see if all the mm -hmm. flour is incorporated. Yep. And... Yeah, and these are, it's the Pyrex ones. I got them just at the grocery store. Yeah. It wasn't even anything special. It was like, so that's, I think like $7 for that big one. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I think, I'm pretty sure they're like heat proof. Yeah, I think uh, you put them in the oven for sure. Okay. Yeah, and they're super thick. So it's like, if you drop that. Yeah, I'll try not to drop another bowl. Yeah. So how easy was that? It took like two Very seconds. Easy. And then um, I usually make a quarter cup size. I think that's good enough. Yeah. And then just kind of drop it and then I'll form them a little bit. There we go. And we're going to do some soup. So um, mm -hmm. these will go great with soup. both of the soups we're doing. So these will probably air, I don't know, in a, in a couple weeks maybe. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. No. I kind of forgot we were filming there for a second. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, it was so zen like watching you. <laughs> Make these biscuits. Um, it just was like, just like what? Wait, what's happening? Yeah, it's just it's just really it was pleasant. Yes, was nice. So like for the biscuits, do you need to like give them space? Or are they going to spread out? You at know, all? they're not going to spread out a whole lot. Um, I will probably do just six at a time right now. Okay. And um, just because the baking sheet is on, but yep. it's it's rustic. No one cares if they're yep. perfect. It's all and, it's going in your mouth and yep, your belly. Exactly. Now, if I were um. Um, at home, I would brush these with more butter and okay. like a little salt and peppers, but I'm just for today I'm just gonna leave them like this mm -hmm. um, So 15 20 minutes uh, no 12 to 15 minutes at 400 degree oven. Is it to temp yet? Yep. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna right. pop them in. Yeah. Well, it's like I can yeah, do that. show them off a little bit. Be my sous chef. Yeah so Let's show up. I just kicked everything. <laughs> so without trying to spill it and dump all your biscuits <laughs> on the ground so there's the biscuits, and there's Biz. Hey! Biz the biscuit maker. Biz, busy making biscuits. Ooh, I like that. That's a, that, that's the title. Busy making biscuits. For this one, yeah. Yep, busy, perfect. Busy making biscuits. But yeah. Awesome. So there's the so biscuits. So yeah, they're so gonna go in the oven, and we'll see you when we get back. I'll do all the hard work. Yes, thank we'll you. Put them in the thank oven. you. Appreciate it. And our biscuits are done. Aww. Look at how pretty those are. I know. Those are, that's like. Perfect for Instagram. Yeah, it's like they're so easy. Make drop biscuits and make your life so much easier. No one cares if they're perfect or not because life is not perfect. No. Um, they're supposed to be rustic. Yeah, it's rustic. They are so light and fluffy, mm -hmm. and there's not an ounce of dairy. There's no. these are completely vegan. Yeah. But you know what? No one's gonna know because they taste delicious. So mm -hmm. why don't we give one a try? Yeah, yeah. And like in terms of the color too. So these had the jalapeno in it, so it was fresh. It was just shredded, and you can still see. Yeah. The jalapeno, like a really nice, vibrant green. Yeah, like and you pretty. can see the little um, uh, cheddar, vegan cheddar yep. cheese that's in there. Yeah, and the cheddar even kind of melted well, mm -hmm. but it didn't get like gloopy out of it. Yeah, and we made a buttermilk. We actually used plant-based milk, added a tablespoon of um, lemon juice to make a mock butter buttermilk. These are super great. light, fluffy, um, 
yeah, no one would know these are vegan. So if you have no. vegan friends and these are great, um, a great recipe. So yeah. we're going to put the recipe below. These would be really good with a soup, wouldn't they? Oh my gosh, would they? <laughs> Maybe this soup right here? <laughs> we'll link to that soup up here somehow. He, he'll do that because I don't know how to do that. Yeah, well, and the, the joke with it is, and you'll see in another video, is that we made the soup and then we just started eating the biscuits. <laughs> and did not close out this video. Yeah, so. it's like, oh, we should probably have an ending. So otherwise yeah. it just ends with it in the oven. Yeah, like, then put it in the oven. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> So. Uh, but yes, so these are delicious. Uh, they will freeze well, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're, they're really good. So yeah. if and these would be if you're going to do gluten free, like with a drop biscuit like mm -hmm. this, where you're not worried about like trying to have a really glutinous like a bread. Yeah, these would be perfect for the any of the like the one to one yeah. gluten free mixes. Out and there. just the baking powder is going to do all the magic for you, so you yep. don't have to worry about it. Um, so if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe down below, give us a thumbs up, and uh, just like us all the time. <laughs> and all the things <laughs> we'll put our links below yeah, but yeah, yeah. links recipe all of it yep you'll you'll be inundated yes and Maybe we'll remind everybody. you every day to watch it okay yeah. all right, bye bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs>